Brad, so so what do you what are we talking about here when we we're, we're talking about surface porosity? Well, you know, customers first of all, customers call almost all defects porosity. So what we're looking at here is is some blisters on, on this slide where it's flaked away, dirt uh, dirt in the sand mold. Um, maybe Ernie can expand on that a little bit. Uh, primarily, just uh, lays on the surface in sand molds. It tends to be dirt if it's in the coke half of the mold. And then it tends to be, uh, or if it's in the drag half of the mold, then it tends to be a dross if it's in the coke half of the mold. Ernie brings up a good point when you're looking at uh, uh, when you're looking at porosity to, to look at the location and, and uh, that will help you determine what kind of porosity it is. One more thing on this slide, um, you, you, you know, uh, the oxides uh, show up in as surface porosity, but they're not really porosity until you machine the part. The, the oxides will be hard and, and they'll tend to tear. So when you're machining, uh, if you're having a lot of rejects on the surface and machining, those typically uh, are oxides. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll pull out during the machining process. 